Hey everyone, Greg here with Collective. Today I want to talk with you about a buzz term that I feel is you know always surrounding the Power BI environment, and that is something called data governance. So a lot of times I get people ask me, or I get clients that'll ask me, you know, like, hey Greg, uh, what do you define data governance as? And then and then I'll also follow that up with another question with how is data governance you know successful? How do you make sure that you have success within your organization with data governance? And I always start you know, down the path of saying, well, you know, data governance really revolves around having standards, having policies, having procedures, and making sure those procedures are followed according to what you have put in place. But really, making sure those policies and procedures and standards are followed is all about having executive leadership and executive buy-in, um, making sure that they are followed. So I always tell I always tell organizations the one key piece that you need in order to implement data governance in your organization is executive leadership. You have to have an executive own it in order to push that down from the top level on down to everyone else who's using your Power BI reporting. Because without that, there's really nobody to say, hey, we need to make sure that our data is 100% accurate. We need to make sure that our reports are accurate. So every time we're reporting out there, uh, we know we're looking at that single version of the truth. So that's my tips and tricks for you guys for today. If you're looking at implementing data governance, make sure you have buy-in from the C-level and there is someone at the C-level actually owning that governance um, strategy. So that's it for today. If you guys have any questions, love to hear your comments. If you, if you agree with me, if you, do, if you disagree with me, please put in the chat below and uh, be happy to collaborate with you on this.